Matt, I would say welcome to Brentford, but you've been here just over a week now. How are you settling in, mate? No, I'm really enjoying it here. It's a good, good club and a very, very family-like feel to it. So I've come in and got on well with the team, the boys, and they're all easy to speak to and yeah. have good things to say about the place. So I've been, I was really looking forward to coming in because it's been happening over quite a while. But coming in and training and the standards being so high here like, took me back a second and realised like how big of, big of a club this is and how what they've been doing. So. No, I've been really looking forward to it. And as a new signing, then you, you get thrust straight into a camp like this. We're at St George's Park, but this is like a bit of a second home to you, isn't it? Because you're here a lot with England, right? Yeah, no, I came here three, three or four times last season with various age group camps for England. Sadly, we didn't get any fixtures because of all the COVID situations. But yeah, no, it was, it's, it's a great experience here to come in here with the first team and to be training with the players and seeing what the club's all about, really, like being in on meetings and everything is quite, quite a good thing to be seeing from a young age. Yeah, I mean, it also means you've been around the lads a lot. So does that help with you settling into a new club? Yeah, I believe so. I think coming in and setting with the boys, obviously knowing a couple of new miles because I used to play at Chelsea with him a long time ago. And obviously I spoke to Finn a few bit over the first few days. So I've gotten quite well and settled in. And then all of the older boys are easy to speak to. And yeah. they seem to have settled in well. And like getting around them and speaking to them seems, doesn't seem like a problem for me at the moment. Well, I've had to pull you away from a table tennis mm. game against Brian. Yeah. Against Brian. Who won? Um, well. I like to say I won. I won the last game, but you won three two on games, so oh, probably a bit better than me. <laughs> That's a big thing here, though. Table tennis, isn't it? No, it's decent. Yeah, it's standard decent. high. Standard's quite high here. Here, yeah, but anyone beats anyone. It just depends who's on the table and who's doing well. So. And it also means I'm keeping you away from the Love Island group. Were you in the Love Island group oh, that watched it? Nah. I'm not really into Love Islands, <laughs> but I heard quite a few of them had it set up on the big screen in the dining hall and yeah. was all watching it together. So the other thing you've had to do is the initiation song. Nah, I didn't, didn't enjoy it. I uh, didn't enjoy it. I've done it before quite a few times. did it when I was 16 at Wimbledon in the first team, so that was a lot worse than here. I'm a bit older now and it's a bit, I've done I did the same songs. <laughs> I did. I've done the same song three years in a row, so. You knew what you were doing. Just, just get it done with it, so yeah. <laughs> I think this was the best I've done it as well so far. Yeah, so. you happy with your performance? Yeah, compared to my other ones, yeah, this was yeah. by far the best, like the other ones. Awful. Let's talk about the football. What, what was it attracted you to Brentford in the first place? Well, obviously, the style of play is exactly how I like to play. It's all very modern especially with Ray's perfect model for all of this. He sits in and he's really, really comfortable, like good on the ball with his feet and it's something that excites me and what, I, what I'd like to say I can do as a keeper, maybe not as good as him yet, but that's the goal and he's a good model to learn off of, especially being in and training with him. Yeah. All of his skills and stuff, I can kind of like learn, take little bits off of it. Well, that's it, because you've been one-on-one -on -one with Patrick, David and Manu a lot, obviously. Mm -hmm. So what, what kind of things have you kind of picked up from the lads already? There's loads, loads of little details of just being like open and scanning like, every other second is one of the biggest biggest things I've taken away from the first few days as a keeper, which is one of the bigger details. You don't want to go into small details because <laughs> not everyone wants to know yeah. all the little goalkeeper ones. But yes. Well, we, we sat here in front of a legendary keeper, Arthur Wharton, who was, was a proper pioneer, the first mm -hmm. back footballer. Um, who are the, keep, the keepers that you looked up to as a kid or maybe do now? When I was really young, I think it was Neuer. No, he yeah. was one of the main, as well, known as the sweeper keeper, but I like to play like that with a high line, like, like the club here do. And he was my main when I was growing up, but now it is like to. I also watch him quite a bit, but it's more like Allison and Edison, the two main, the two main keepers everyone loves at the moment. Yeah. Just the way Allison just is all around keeper and Edison is just a joy to watch with it, with the ball at his feet, really. Is that because, like you say, the ball at your feet? Were you always? Do you think your generation of goalkeeper, it was ingrained in you from a young age? because nowadays the modern day goalkeeper is all about what you do with your feet and you, you said there about David, he is like a sweeper keeper and he's yeah. almost like a, an extra outfield player yeah. at times. I think a, a bit of it was, as coming through as this age, was a, was a big thing and I remember I used to play, for my county team, I used to play a half in goal and a half out pitch so I've got some pictures of me like playing left wing and stuff like doing tricks and everything and then yeah. I'd go in goal for like the first or the other half of the game so I think from young I'd always try to be like good with my feet because it's one of the things which you can stand out on, but then nowadays it's not really a standout, it's a given. So, yeah. Keep us able to, so it's, it's helped me quite a bit. But. You said skills and tricks. You ain't doing Cruyff in the box, or, or you got that in you? Well, I have done it before, <laughs> but I have to see. <laughs> One thing I was going to say about yourself, goalkeepers have a reputation for being a bit out there, a bit outraged. You seem very level-headed and calm. Have we maybe just not quite no, seen that I, yet? I seem to be like that. Both my parents are teachers, so it's kind of like in me just to be like, like level down and not simple but just like not too much and <laughs> not like other keepers I've 
I've known a lot of keepers who've been like that before. <laughs> but David's pretty lively and Patrick's yeah. pretty <laughs> lively. So you can be the one that kind of balances Sensible, everyone yeah. out. Exactly. So man, thanks for your time, Cheers, Matt. Really anyways. appreciate it.